This is Miles Gates, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so next week it will be two months since Tarson Fury fought Derek Chisora at the Tottenham Hotspur Football Stadium. Two months and still no announcement for Tarson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. What is going on, people? What's going on? As we heard from Frank Warren, even way before the Derek Chisora fight, that talks were already underway between Tarson Fury's team and Alexander Usyk's team. So this has been going on for longer than two months. It's been two months nearly since Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk were face to face after the Chisora fight. There's still nothing. Which one of these two have more endorsements globally than Anthony Joshua? But yet Tyson Fury was giving Anthony Joshua 24 hours, sign it by Monday. Get done by all these kind of things, but yet people saying, Anthony Joshua, sign the contract, sign the contract, even though there was no actual contract to sign, was there? So we're led to believe. But when it came to Anthony Joshua negotiating with Tyson Fury for the undisputed fight, of course, in Saudi Arabia, Tyson Fury every other day was out on their social media saying, Tick tock, tick tock, you've got 24 hours, you've got this, you've got that. Listen, it's the only person that Tyson Fury does this with is Anthony Joshua for some reason. But yet here we are, the latest message that we've heard is Alexander Usyk going in on Tyson Fury, saying Tyson Fury's more interested in money than he's about legacy and how he'll fight Tyson Fury for free because he don't care about the money. He just wants the legacy. Tyson Fury's asking for too much money by the sounds of it. Some, there's some kind of hold up, clearly. Bob Arum said, was about three weeks ago, we'll have an announcement by the end of the week. Okay. Still nothing. What is going on? What is going on? I mean, is it the Saudis? Are they taking their time? Like they did with Eddie Hearn when it came to the uh, Tyson Fury fight for Joshua for Undisputed? These things take time. Understandably, they take time. So when you look back, when people are saying how Anthony Joshua signed the contract, a guy who has much more endorsement deals than either of Fury and Usyk. Do you feel a little bit silly now? Do you understand why me and other people are saying that Fury is being unrealistic with the, with the time schedule? But yeah, we're not seeing Fury come out with, come on Usyk, you dosser. You've got 24 hours, you dosser. Sign the contract, you dosser. He ain't doing that. He's been unusually quiet. So is this fight going to happen in Saudi? Is it going to happen at Wembley? Is it going to collapse? Maybe Usyk's now going to go fight Daniel Dubois, which is now his mandatory. And maybe Fury's going to go, go fight Joe Joyce. Two interesting fights. But they need to make a decision because Joe Joyce is either, either has or is about to sign a contract to fight Ziddy Zhang. What is going on? It's taking far too long. No deal should take, what, over two months considering that Team Usyk and Team Fury were talking before even the Chisora fight. We've heard numerous things from Frank Warren on TalkSport saying how some draft contracts have been sent and whatever else. So, I mean, what what, what is the hold-up? What's the hold-up? It shouldn't be this difficult, should it? Saudi Arabia want to make the fight. For some bizarre reason, both fighters are negotiating with the Saudis as to what they're going to get paid. I mean, shouldn't it be, well, that's the amount of money. You guys deal with the split yourself. 50-50, okay, there you go. That, again, why is it so complicated? Listen, I'm not involved, of course not, so I wouldn't know how complicated. Maybe it's overly complicated that even Frank Warren and Bob Arum and Krushak and anybody else involved is going, this is ridiculous. Maybe. But who's holding the fight up? Is it Usyk? Is it Fury? Is it the Saudis? Taking a long time, though, isn't it? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.